All right, so uh, I took the liner out, and then I got good old-fashioned black gasket maker and put a tiny uh, line around between the O-rings before I stuck, slipped it back in. Let that cure, and now uh, I just had it full of water for an hour, and it didn't leak any water out around that cylinder liner, so I think we got it fixed, and it's time to put it back together. All right, I forgot there's two short ones on the bottom side of this cover, and then two long screws for the fuel tank mount on the top of this cover. And um, this uh, cover, I am also going to put sealant under it so that if the oil gets overfilled, it won't just leak out past this cover. So. Time to get the tractor over here and have it assembled. So
All right, well, uh, so not sure where the camera shut off, wasn't paying attention. It hits 30 minute limit, um, but I slipped the uh, throttle linkage in on the side here and um, made a mistake. It is supposed to go behind this uh, and of course it's jammed in there now because this throttle linkage here, see how it's bent twice, is supposed to slip in and go behind the steering column to get to the so it's in place behind the steering column now this cast bent brass piece so this piece here is cast with eyes on both or with an eye on one end and the threads on the other. Uh, it's got a weird square shape with rounds on both ends. This second arm, the main linkage back to the uh, throttle lever, is um, a stamped and bent piece of brass. Um, so it's actually pretty cool to see what parts of this are uh, stamped and what are weird little castings but anyhow it's back together it doesn't leak uh, we'll put the float on Well, with a bit of black silicone gasket sealant, hopefully we're back in business. But we won't know until we get to try it out. And since we're right here, Put the drive belts back on. There. And it doesn't have a spark plug in, so it spins freely. Anyhow. Alright, well, here's hoping.